Autopilot channel. To receive updates of all cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin news and views, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below to receive notifications. Enjoy the video. Anecdotally, Mike, we here at Bloomberg see a real hunger for information about cryptocurrencies and for information about blockchain technology. Is there yet a similarly real demand, if you will, for access to blockchain technology from clients or even access to crypto as an investable asset from clients? I'd say it's been fairly limited and concentrated in terms of interest. I don't know if you've tried to go, but I would encourage people to go download it and try and use it. Today, it's it's still pretty clunky. You know, when you want to go to the corner store and get a loaf of bread or whatever you want to go By on. By the way, Mike Corbett just told you to go out and buy a Bitcoin for seven thousand dollars. Um, <laughs> And try and use it and try the experience. And I think you'd find it today, you know, uh, my word, you'd probably find it a bit clunky. But again, we can't be dismissive on the underlying technology and ultimately what it represents in terms of the next, the next things that are coming down the pike. I love this idea that you introduced at the very beginning that governments or a government perhaps, like the U.S. government through the Treasury Department, might undertake to develop a cryptocurrency of its own. In the meantime, why is it that you think we haven't seen regulators, whether they be here, whether they be in the UK, whether they be in Europe, do what the Chinese have done, which is kind of put a stop to something that does make it almost impossible to comply with know your client mm -hmm. and anti-money laundering? You know, in some ways, there's the challenge that regulation actually stalls or impedes innovation. And so I think the regulators, again, you, it's a better question for them than for me. But as mm -hmm. an observer, I would, I would guess or, or likely say that they're intrigued by the innovation. They're intrigued by the underlying technology. I think there is a future to digital currencies. And rather than cut it off at this point, let it run a bit. But I, I do believe at the point that it, it truly does become meaningful and difficult to manage around tax collection, around criminal activity, uh, around tax evasion, money laundering, etc., that governments will have something meaningful to say on that.